And I respect Mexico. I respect their leaders. What they've done to us is incredible. Their leaders are so much smarter, so much sharper. And it's incredible. In fact, that could be a Mexican plane up there. They're getting ready to attack. Sometimes when you tweet, you get yourself in trouble. You yes. say cockeyed things. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know whether you mean them or whether you're just being a provocateur. Sometimes both. Uh, do your kids ever say, Dad, hey, easy, Dad, come on, you're a little here or there? Oh, they love me, and they want to make sure that everything gets left to them. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. Last time at the first debate, we had millions of people uh, fact-checking, so I expect we'll have millions more fact-checking uh, because, you know, it is, uh, it's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Yeah, because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. Lisa, or as I call her, Miss USDA. <laughs> I want you to be a judge at my next Miss Universe badge. Because like the universe, you're constantly expanding and filled with dark matter. <laughs> Go take a look at it. The look, research I'm says the crime, is, the crime is, does not match uh, yeah, what you're saying. The research, research, the Pew Research, which is okay. independent, okay. says... Don't be naive. You're a very naive person. <laughs> the Pew you're Research a... says that there are, uh, for immigrants on the whole, create... Are, create Come on, try getting it out. Try getting it out. I'll get it out. I mean, I don't know if you're going to put this on television, but you don't even know what you're talking about. Nearly 200 dead. 14,000 who are sick, millions, as you witnessed, who are scared right now. What do you say to Americans who are watching you right now who are scared? Uh, I say that you're a terrible reporter. That's what I say. We'll do the wall. Don't worry. We're going to do the wall. We're going to do the wall. And by the way, who's going to pay for the wall? Mexico's going to pay for the wall. I also happen to call him a lightweight, okay? And I have said that, so I would like to take that back. He's really not that much of a lightweight. He hit my hands. Nobody has ever hit my hands. I've never heard of this one. Look at those hands. Are they small hands? <laughs> and he referred to my hands. If they're small, something else must be small. I guarantee you there's no problem. I guarantee. Go ahead. Sure. She's shocked that I picked her. No. It's like in a state of shock. I'm not thinking, Mr. That's President. That's okay. I know you're not thinking. You never do. I'm sorry? No, go ahead. Go ahead. You said many times that the U.S. is doing far better than any other country when it comes to testing. Yes. Why does that matter? Why is this a global competition to you if every day Americans are still losing their lives and we're still seeing more cases every day? Well, they're losing their lives everywhere in the world. And maybe that's a question you should ask China. Don't ask me. Ask China that question, okay? When you ask them that question, you may get a very unusual answer. Yes, behind you, please. And, and who is the current uh, Miss USA now? Well, we have a Miss USA from who the hell knows where she's from. <laughs> and, and we... She's from Kentucky. She's so cute. She went to New York and she was hanging out at all the parties, doing what Paris and Lindsay do, you know, right. dancing, whatever. And so he held a press conference <laughs> to announce whether or not she was going to retain oh. her crown. Yeah, and then yeah. she started to cry. She did. So I, I just want to thank Donald. Just giving me a second chance. And, and, brilliant. and there he is, hair looping, going, everyone, everyone deserves a second chance. Left the first wife, had an affair, left the second wife, had an affair, had kids both time, but he's the moral compass for 20 year olds in America. Donald, sit and spin, my friend. I don't enjoy him. No. Well, Rosie O'Donnell's disgusting. I mean, both inside and out. You take a look at her, she's a slob. She talks like a, a, like a truck driver. If I were running The View, I'd fire Rosie. I mean, I'd look her right in that fat, ugly face of hers. I'd say, Rosie, you're fired. We're all a little chubby, but Rosie's just worse than most of us. But it's not the chubbiness. Rosie is a very unattractive person, both inside and out. You've called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. Your Twitter account... Only Rosie several... O'Donnell. No, it wasn't. 
Your Twitter account. You're the president and people tuning into these briefings, they want to get information and guidance and want to know what to do. They're hey, not looking for up, rumors. I'm the president and you're fake news. saying that to me specifically I'm telling you I'm not saying it specifically to anybody I'm saying it to anybody that would ask a nasty question That's like that That's not a nasty question Please go ahead Why does it matter Okay uh, anybody else please go ahead in the back please I have, to, I have two questions No it's okay But we'll you go pointed to me I have two questions Mr. Next, President Next next please But you did you called on me I did and you didn't respond and now I'm calling on Sorry, I just want the to young lady in the back, please. I just wanted to let my colleague finish, okay. but can I ask you Ladies and gentlemen, please? thank you very much. Appreciate but it. You thank you very much. In less than two years, my administration has accomplished more than almost any administration in the history of our country. America's so true. <laughs> Didn't expect that reaction, but that's okay. <laughs> What's the difference between a wet raccoon and Donald J. Trump's hair? A wet raccoon doesn't have seven billion fucking dollars in the bank. <laughs> Hillary accidentally bumped into me, and she very civilly said, pardon me. What a stupid question that is. What a stupid question. But I watch you a lot. You ask a lot of stupid questions. Okay. Uh, Mr. President, Mr. President, I, I know that you continue to say you asked me. Okay, hold it one second. Any other questions from any other people? Okay, thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Now, so you only Miss Universe and the Miss uh, USA. You Miss USA pageants. Miss America as well? Well, I might get them. You know, we're on network television. NBC, your favorite network, mm -hmm. just renewed it for three more years. Oh. And Miss America doesn't have right now a network. Yeah. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but... Now, you've revitalized the beauty pageants. Yeah, you, I think you, I've done a good job with made them what more interesting to the home viewers. And what was the key to that? What was the one thing that you needed to fix? Well, Miss America made the bathing suits one piece very large, and you weren't allowed to wear shoes. Mm -hmm. What I did is I made the heels higher mm -hmm. and the bathing suits smaller, and it was amazing. <laughs> It was amazing what happened to the ratings. <laughs> Hunter, you're a loser. Why did you get $1.5 billion, Hunter? And your father was never considered smart. He was never considered a good senator. He was only a good vice president because he understood how to kiss Barack Obama's ass.